which go along with image tags. These attributes are quite helpful and you see them being used in quite a lot of places. There is actually a replacement for this attribute which comes in CSS but we will talk about CSS in a different course. For the time being let's just see how you can do the same thing with HTML. So these attributes are basically height and width. So again the name of the attribute is height or width and the attribute value goes in exactly similar fashion where you put an equal to sign in two double inverted commas and again equal to sign in two double inverted commas. So for example if I want to change the height of this particular image which I have just included I can give the height as 100 pixels and I can give the width as maybe 125 pixels. So this is how you can manipulate, you can change the height and width of your image. Now as I spoke, um, if you are familiar with CSS, I'm sure you would know different ways to manipulate dimensions of an image using CSS and in fact that is in, in many respects a better way to do it. But for the time being because we are focusing on HTML, let us just focus on the attributes within HTML and eventually when you get over to CSS which allows you to do more styling of your web page, we will see how you can manage the images using CSS rather than you having to put in height and width in this manner. I would urge you to go ahead and play with this as much as you can. Just, just take images randomly, put down different heights, different widths of the images, play with the numbers. If you are curious to know about what are the units of the 100 and 125, these two numbers over here, I would tell you it's px pixel but we don't need to put px over here so it's pixels again um, so this is automatically taken as pixels whatever number you quote over here it automatically goes as pixels so just go on and put different numbers and see how it works see how it acts take different images put down different titles to them just play with it so that you can get well used to it so eventually when you get over to higher courses in HTML if you intend to take them you are done with the basics so that when we talk about basics at that time you should not get confused or you, sh you should not feel a bit lost that hey what's going on so for that just go on and keep practicing